Uh, obviously, congratulate Georgetown. Uh, really good team. Uh, Coach Thompson and his staff do a great job. Uh, that's why they usually are either winning or in contention for Big East regular season championships year in, year out. Uh, it was really disappointing with the way our guys competed. Uh, it's not why we've, uh, we've been good uh, the last several years. Uh, at the end of the day, it's about c competing at a high level. Uh, and we didn't do that. We've got to get better there. Starks is a really, really good player. I told our guys that he would make winning plays from the minute the ball was tipped. Uh, seniors, uh, I knew Georgetown would play with a great sense of urgency losing a game to start their season. Uh, and seniors are, are the ones that normally try to come out and take over, and he did that. And we've guarded, I mean, Ray McCallum Jr., who's in the NBA now, we've guarded really high-level guards. And he played three games last year where he scored below 10, and two of them were against those same guys trying to guard Starks. So uh, when he goes for... 23, and Rivera gets 25. That's a, that's a big time night against some pretty good perimeter defenders in the past. What was your total plan against uh, Joshua Smith? We were going to double off the post feeder, um, you know, and we wanted the right guys to shoot shots. And as I told my kids, uh, Starks and Rivera can't get threes, but everybody else can. If, if Lubick and Hopkins and uh, Trowick make threes all night, that's fine. The problem was in the first half, their, their key guys got threes. We wanted them to beat us from the three-point line um, because clearly with the way that the officiating is going this year, trying to trying to allow them to just play one-on-one -on -one in the post, they foul our whole team out. And, uh, you know, that, that was that was kind of our our approach. Uh, the big difference beside, you know, the big difference for us was we scored against them, I think, more than what they're used to, in my opinion. The problem was you have 11 first half turnovers. So if you have seven first half turnovers you, and you score on two or three of those possessions that you get shots on, you go in 50 to 39 or 38. And it just has a little different feel to the game. Uh, so, so certainly a lot, of, a lot of credit to Georgetown, but we did not play like a team that has nine juniors and seniors on it. How much did their zone in the first half contribute to those turnovers? Oh, it hurt us. You know, their length on the wings uh, when they come up and uh, stone at you. Uh, we were very. Uh, very, we, the ball stuck. You know, against zone, you got to fire it. You got to get it to the short corner, high post. And we did. We usually had success. Uh, and then the big key was that those uh, those turnovers led to baskets. You know, and got the crowd involved. And, uh, but I thought early some of our shots. You know, they, we got a back cut layup to start the game that got blocked, and we got some plays in the lane. And the big key with Georgetown size is you have to drive the ball the first time to the lane to collapse the defense and kick it out. We drove it the first time to the rim, and they're, it doesn't matter who they play. You do that, you're, they're going to block it. you got to kick it out and then close them out again. And I thought we did a little better job of that in the second half. But for us, the second half is all fool's gold. I've played in a lot of games where you're up 20, and it's just it's all fool's gold. Don't, don't be down. Like, because it, like it's, that second half is fool's gold for Wright State. My kids will know that tomorrow morning when we watch film. Coach, A.J. Packer in foul trouble were in the first half. Um, how did that kind of affect what you guys were trying to do? Well, I mean, obviously, A.J.'s a skilled big guy. He can score inside, and so it puts a little more pressure on them defensively, uh, you know, to maybe maybe get Smith in foul trouble. That just didn't go our way tonight, and, you know, this is big. This is high-level basketball. And, you know, a big key word to winning in college basketball is adjust. You know, it was impactful, but we have good enough players to try to adjust and maybe make it a little bit more of a game than we did. You mentioned the first half sense of urgency by Georgetown. Did that one two two full fuel that in your estimation? I thought early we handled it fine, and then it was late. It was I thought the block shots. Then all of a sudden our team played with with some fear uh, everywhere. Zone full court press. I thought the block shots uh, really bothered us because early we broke the press. Early we got good shots, and then uh, and I also thought that fueled them. Mm -hmm. It's like they can get they can take it to the rim, and, and uh, I, I thought that fueled them. So um, you know it, it, it certainly was impactful. Cole Darling missed your season opener and you only played a minute tonight. Where is he at? What's his progress? You know what? He was going to try to give it a go, and I watched him on the first couple plays and just felt like his, his ankle, his foot isn't right. Uh, and he's a senior, and he's trying to compete. He's a good, he's an all-conference player in our league. And, uh, you know, but we played the last 12 games of the season last year without him. Uh, so for our guys, it's, I just, you don't ever want anybody to be injured, never mind a senior. But Cole Darling not playing is, has no impact on us, you know, you know, being the nail and Georgetown being the hammer. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you.